What's going on guys? I am here doing a slightly different video for you guys. I was curious uh, the, today, this morning, and decided to check how much money I've actually spent in the Atomic Shop. And to somewhat my surprise, and I say somewhat because I'm not really surprised, but am surprised at the same time. Uh, somewhat to my surprise, I came to find out that I spent... Uh, just south of four thousand dollars here on this game and The way I did that is by buying essentially everything in the atomic shop now. I don't want to make uh, that statement as Direct as it sounds like I didn't actually buy Everything in the shop because I did miss a few things here and there whether I was away from my computer or it was a, a Limited time item that I just forgot to pick up or whatever the reason you know uh, there is a few items that I did miss, but I spent $3,800 on the cosmetic section of the Atomic Shop. Essentially, pretty much buying everything uh, for the most part. But with that being said, I also do have uh, Fallout First. Uh, I did pay for a few months uh, before I ended up buying the Year Pass. Uh, so there's that too. So altogether, it totals a little bit just literally like dollars at this point pretty much south of four thousand dollars here in fallout 76 so i want to make it perfectly clear though i know this video is probably going to get a lot of dislikes uh only because this video is not hate uh not liked by a lot of people uh to say it is probably an understatement but <laughs> it doesn't bother me i don't really care if you guys like this video or not uh, at the end of the day, I am personally enjoying this game, and I know a lot of other people do enjoy this game, and they have come a long way since the game has released, and I want to continue supporting it. I don't, however, support the pay-to-win aspects, like the uh, scrap kits, for example, uh, that kind of stuff. I have bought them, uh, like, maybe once or twice, but for the most part, I, I don't support it whatsoever. I just buy the cosmetics. So with that being said, I kind of want to show you everything that's, that I have purchased. Like again, I haven't bought everything and there is some stuff that I missed. Uh, but for the most part, it's the vast majority. I would say probably like 98-99% of the Atomic Shop items that have ever been released are in my uh, virtual possession, if you will. And I don't really care if people hate on that. But... By the nature of this video alone, it's probably going to be a little bit longer. But if you want to see everything that I've purchased, definitely stick around and I'll show you everything that I have. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, so because the Atomic Shop music is typically, um, you know, copyright or whatever, I'm going to mute it and just put some other music on top of that. So it's just not quiet, you know what I mean? But I'm going to go ahead and show you what's actually featured right now in the Atomic Shop first. Uh, today, as of the recording of this video, it's actually a Monday, which means tomorrow the Atom Shop or the Atomic Shop is going to be updated. So whatever it is that, um, that comes out, of course, I will be buying it. Uh, and that's fine. So there's all of this stuff, the Big Game Hunter uh, cooking stove. A lot of this is actually bundled in with the Big Game Hunter pack so there's that uh the red rocket stuff of course i have all of this of course also if there's something i don't own i'm probably gonna buy it here live <laughs> kind of but yeah so as you can see everything is already bought this raider uh skin the blood raider skin is actually a pretty cool skin in my opinion i like it a lot these stairs are really cool too but i've never really needed a reason to use it so there's that the green thumb bundle, I think that's a lot of like trees and stuff, which is cool. Um, the Slocum Joe's uh, camp bundle. This one is actually really cool. Uh, this one right here is, I believe it's very popular within the Fallout community, the Fallout 76 community, mainly because I think everybody really liked how different this vending machine is. And I like it too, I just don't really want to put it in my camp. But yeah, there's that. Of course, there's the stuff. I just like I said, I don't support this kind of stuff, the repair kits or the scrap kits or anything like that. So there is that. And like I said as well, I do also own Fallout first. Um, so I do have all this stuff. I don't think I have everything though, to be honest. I think I'm missing like a tent or something. And 
I, that might be it. I don't know what I'm missing, but realistically, I think I did miss a couple things uh, at the least in this section right here, the Fallout First section, which is cool though. I think I got what I really wanted, the uh, Elite Ranger armor. I think is pretty badass. So there's that. In the apparel section, this is where a apparel and skins maybe is probably where the majority of the and maybe camp actually is where the majority of the purchases lie of course we got the raider uh well what well, looks like raider armor the bog wanderer i guess you call it the space suit for females which is of course the nuka cola sponsor thing or whatever the rocket suit it's called black overalls this one is probably one of my favorite outfits i got it obviously because i pre-ordered fallout 76 and with that came the the tri tricentennial pack or whatever i think you can still get your hands on it but uh, I take pride in the fact that I played it since beta, so there's that. Uh, the survivalist outfit, uh, road tripper outfit, vintage linen coat. Of course, a lot of these I don't wear because they're female base characters and I don't really play with female characters. Uh, the inspector. <clears throat> this actually was a, uh, a part of this special event in the atomic shop where they had a bunch of, uh, you know superheroes within fallout or whatever like grognak for example the inspector etc etc and this is just one of the superheroes you could buy this one right here i actually really enjoyed and i was looking forward to it when it leaked uh because it looks really cool this is one of the cool skins in my opinion the stalker outfit the bad news billy that came out obviously with um with the uh the whole sheep squatch thing going on albino fur i'm not gonna lie this one looks pretty cool in my opinion but again i don't really wear female or i don't really play as a female i do have a female character but i use her only for uh nuclear winter only just to keep her silhouette a silhouette a little bit smaller making it a little bit harder to shoot i don't know if that's a thing in fallout 76 but hey it's in my head so there's that hunter's vest of course uh, i'm not a big fan of that i think that came out with the whole sheep squatch thing as well but i could be mistaken on that one i don't know uh, she, uh, shirt and slacks, red shirt and slacks, cream dress, blue dress. These are all just bland, uh, really unnecessary to be honest. These should be in game in my opinion, but there's that. This is the sweater and slacks, which was also in Fallout 4. Uh, Sanguine, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but the dress, that was also in Fallout 4, I believe. Uh, skiing outfit, uh, summer shorts, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> but anyways, uh, pink suit, camouflage suit. This one's pretty cool because it reminds me of my time in the army because I was in the army for uh, just a little bit under six years. So there is that. I was a military police officer, if you guys even care. Uh, just throwing out some random information, I suppose. The Mr. Claus dress, which is kind of weird thing to say because that definitely looks like a female outfit. But hey, whatever. Toots your horn, I suppose. Orange Western. I think this one is actually pretty cool in my opinion, but I don't really i haven't really wear wore it or anything like that these outfits i think are pretty cool like the tropical suit uh whatever the hell that word is suit and the vault tech one out of those i think the vault tech one is probably my favorite one just because it's so random and different but i like it the festive suit i like that one a lot too the lumberjack outfit looks pretty cool of course during the holiday i will probably be running around with the mr claw suit because it's just badass and it's christmas of course right tour guide sniper outfit this was one of uh the first really unique outfits in the atomic shop uh that i can remember i'm not sure if it was the first but i think it was among the first it might have been there since launch i don't remember but it's ve it's a very early skin uh this is another one of those superhero ones the man to man of course this one is a little weird in my opinion it, the back of it does have like a like a praying mantis on it and it's all right i suppose the daredevil bodysuit this was one of the first uh i guess outfits that i really really wanted to get because i thought it was pretty cool and it reminds me of uh i can't remember his name he used to ride a motorcycle doing you know stunts and stuff i believe he might have died doing that too though but uh evil knievel was his name so yeah there's that <laughs> medical scrubs nothing special there frigid dress another thing like that okay uh, uh whatever that says tropical suit camouflage suit and pink suit the pink suit actually i think looks really cool i actually really like that one a lot actually the vault suit again that one's still pretty awesome in my opinion uh 
poodle shirt sure why not the bomber jacket uh is actually my go-to outfit on my brotherhood of steel character in fallout 4 believe it or not but of course that character wears power armor which is why damage resistance isn't a thing for me in that game so this is my go-to for my brotherhood of steel character in fallout 4 uh white tuxedo that one looks pretty cool i think uh vault pajamas i actually like those those are pretty cool these are just whatever the regular pajamas flying fishing suit this reminds me of the old meme where the old man was fishing and he's like oh you almost got it with a dollar bill i don't know if you guys remember it it was pretty funny but anyways uh black and white tuxedo that one looks cool almost like a 007-esque feel to it uh greaser jacket and jeans this one's not very spectacular because there's a dirty version if you will in game already so there's that uh the silver shroud costume obviously i like the silver silver shroud because of uh, fallout 4 i think he's a really cool superhero or just a hero in general uh grognak grognak's pretty cool um i actually use the grognak's axe in the game on my youtube character here in fallout 76 so who knows maybe i'll wear this one one day just for fun this is one of the newer releases uh as a pack here in Fallout 76, the Piper's outfit, even though realistically she shouldn't have anything to do with Fallout 76, it's just so much, so many years before the events of Fallout 4, so yeah, there's that, but I guess it's just cosmetic, so it should have just looked the same in my opinion, just call it something different, but that, there's that. The Duster, this was Preston Garvey's outfit, <laughs> because everybody knows that Fallout 76 has settlements and they all need your help. Uh, Nuka Rolled uh, ga Gazer, sure why not. These are pretty cool. They're just average in my opinion. The spacesuit, I think this one looks pretty nice. I like this one a lot. It's a, a unique taste, if you will, or take uh, to the spacesuit that's already in game. So, uh, yeah, I, I would prefer this one though because the one that's in game is just like whatever. The vampire costume, another one of the first or early outfits that you can get in uh, Fallout 76 that was really unique in nature. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I'll probably end up wearing this uh, For Halloween or something. I don't know. We'll see uh, Varsity jacket Camden jumpsuit Ranger jumpsuit. I actually like the Rangers jumpsuit. It looks pretty good in my opinion green green dress postal uniform Military uniform. I like that one a lot mainly because of my nostalgia being in the military uh, red rocket jumpsuit uh, Rose dress blue shirt and slacks the tuxedo again this makes me feel like Fallout 4 for some reason. Uh, and kind of sort of 007-esque as well, to be honest. I don't know why. Uh, lab coat. Uh, Black Bear mascot. This is actually a pretty cool outfit, in my opinion. Uh, Cryptid enthusiast. Uh, clown suit. This one's nothing spectacular, nothing special behind this one. Only because, again, similar to some of the other outfits in the Atomic Shop... There is a dirty version already in the game, so if you want the new version, you would have to go to the Atomic Shop. So, uh, I wouldn't buy this one if I were you. you. I think the dirty one looks better anyways. But yeah, the Wild Man rags everybody uh, who's played the uh, Nuka World DLC in Fallout 4 would remember this outfit as being a lovable little Sito and his shiny slugger. <laughs> so, the Mountaineer outfit, this one looks very... Uh, like Indian-esque if you will uh, I think it's a pretty cool outfit I like it um, Wastelander Trapper outfit this one looks really cool I think it's very Raider like in my opinion I like it a lot the Elders Battle Coat man I love this outfit in Fallout 4 the problem with it is there's only I think two only two ways you can get it and that's both of them require you killing Elder Maxon so I wish there was a way you can obtain the Battle Coat the Elders Battle Coat while siding with the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 4. But here in Fallout 76, you could have just got it. I believe the it was a pack that you were supposed to get uh, to be able to obtain this. But I could be mistaken on this one, but there's that. Stars and Stripes. I'm a Mara Gamer. I had to get this. There's no way, way around it. Uh, revolutionary Outfit. This one was pretty cool. Uh, Mechanist Outfit. Uh, this was definitely another pack that you have to get. I can't remember what it was. Maybe Gamescon or something like that. Or maybe the General's Uniform was Gamescon. But both of these, the General's Uniform and the Mechanist were packs that you could get separately. Uh, so there's that. And of course, everybody knows the General's Uniform from Fallout 4 as being the General of the Min Minutemen once you reclaim the castle. Uh, the Rootin' Tootin' Outfit. 
I like this one a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm not cowboy-esque myself, but uh, as far as like real life goes, I'm more of a rocker, but I like this one a lot. It's very patriotic in my opinion. Uh, survivalist outfit, grill master outfit, uh, Captain Cosmos. That, I, I kind of like this one to be honest. And of course this one, the Raider Waster outfit. Those who have, again, has played the uh, Nuka World DLC would remember this as your lovable little companion uh, gauge uh, that you can get in Nuka World, of course. He wears something very similar. I believe his is yellow, though, or has yellow, you know, colors on it, uh, I believe, like paint. So there's that, but it is definitely the same outfit, if I remember correctly. So the Cal... Uh, Caravan trader outfit. This one was pretty cool. I like this one a lot um, Very unique too. It's pretty cool. I think I really like it a lot This one is another one that I probably wouldn't buy only because well I did buy it, but <laughs> whatever like if I were you I probably wouldn't spend money on this one only because there is already a dirty version in uh, The game already so and I do think that one does look better than this one something about the dirty versions just feel fallout for some reason uh, so there's that it is a nice outfit. I will say that uh, But again the dirty version I think looks a little bit better. So there's that Ranger uh, armor outfit. I don't really have to say much about it fallout New Vegas players knows exactly where this is from the NCR Rangers and Yeah, this is just feeding nostalgia Raider scabber outfit. That one's really nice uh, communist spy outfit. No, thank you <laughs> Marka the elite armor I mean, need I say more? This one looks badass. This one actually, I think these two, the Gladiator and the Samurai outfit, I love them so much because of their uniqueness and it adds a little bit more of a uh, role-playing element to the game in my opinion. The Gladiator outfit actually would fit in, in my opinion, towards uh, a, a role-playing thing of like Caesar's Legion, but yeah. Mechanic outfit, uh, Raider Pathfinder outfit, Raider Pathfinder mask, which I think comes with this, but sure, why not? Uh, also with this, the Raider Pathfinder bandana. So if you buy this, I believe you get all that. Um, welder outfit, uh, work chief outfit, carpenter outfit, laborer outfit. Those are all really cool, but they're very just, I guess, role playing or just to stand out just a little bit, I suppose. Nuka Cola, out of all the jumpsuits, the Nuka Cola Quantum one is probably my favorite one only because. I'm a big fan of Nuka Cola Quantum. The Nuka Cherry outfit, the regular Nuka Cola one, the Fire Chief. I actually really enjoyed this one when it first came out, but the. I can't remember what it was. If it was the outfit itself or the backpack, but one of them clipped through whatever you were wearing under. So I didn't get an opportunity to really play it very well. So there's that. The Nuka Dark, Nomad, Raider, uh, Culinarian outfit. So I guess this is the Cook. Uh, Raider Skinner outfit. All of those are really cool. The Keeper outfit because we know we must save the bees. Um, Leprechaun. I really, really like these two, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. These holiday themed ones, I really enjoyed a lot. King Grognak costume. This one's badass. Not gonna lie. Umpire outfit. There's uh, definitely from Diamond City. Just a reskin uh, from Fallout 4's Diamond City thing. Uh, Grafton mascot outfit. Outfit. Uh, the ghillie suit, uh, this one is from playing uh, Nuclear Winter, the most recent event that happened. Uh, this one, only for players that played from beta, essentially, all the way up until Wastelanders. The day before Wastelanders came out, I believe, you just got this deposited into your inventory. And that's why I wear it on my YouTube character. Kind of like, just to like show everybody that I've been playing forever, even though, I mean, I have videos for days on that. Top hat, Patriot head. Uh, this one's actually pretty funny, the Patriot head, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Bog Wander, fly boy outfit. This one's really cool. Uh, fly fishing hat, old man, uh, summer mask. This came out on the first Foss Night event. I'm not sure if it came out on the second time that it uh, came out, but uh, nonetheless, it's here. Vault girl head, moonshine mama mask. Uh, I like this one out of all the masks in the game. This one's my favorite one. Gladiator mask, love it. Nuclear winter reward. Same thing with this. Uh, survivalist mask, scientist goggles, Ronin. This one again, nuclear winter reward. But this one's actually really cool, I think. And I like that it's fireman theme, if you will. For the same thing with like 
some China, you know, I'm not sure which Asian culture this is from. I want to say China, but I could be mistaken. But yeah, there's that. Football Hamlet, uh, De uh, Devil Head, Skull Mask, Moonshine Hat, uh, Bad News Billy, Hunter Hats, Easter Bonnet. That's cool. Uh, the Patriotic Moonshine Hat. Because, of course, I will. I, <laughs> I mean, come on now. It had to be. I had to get that one. These are cool, but they're kind of too big. The Alien Mothman Mask and the Metal Mothman Mask, they're kind of too big. I'm not... I like their style. I just think they're a little too big. But there's that. The Plague Doctor, very unique. I like it a lot. Um, Fruit Hat, this is such a stupid hat, but I like it. <laughs> uh, silver Fedora, of course, with the Silver Shroud. Uh, the flight helmets, these are pretty cool. If I had to choose between these two, I'll probably go with the brown one, though. Uh, Miss Claus bonnet. Uh, Mr. Claus beard. Sniper hat. Fez. This reminds me of that 70s show. One of my favorite shows out there, man. Absolutely hilarious. Antler headband. Antler headband. Why are these both named the same? Not sure, but that's the thing. Uh, Mr. Claus hat. Uh, hip glasses, lumberjack hat, vault 76 hat, American trucker hat, uh, cap, uh, Garahan, uh, Garahan mining cap, West Virginia cap, tricentennial cap, robo, I'm uh, robocop, what the fuck, <laughs> robco cap, mothman cap, scrubs, smile, this one's pretty cool, it's very fitting here because of the whole pandemic that's going on in the world today, of course, the daredevil helmet, Sun hat, head wrap, uh, lifted hunting cap, uh, the regular hunting cap, uh, monocle, monocle, I'm not sure how you say that to be honest, leather cap, this reminds me of like the, it's raining men, guys, or whatever, uh, I think it's pretty cool though, I like it, I like that it's leather, uh, clown hat, uh, space helmet, jingles, or jingles bandana, because everybody loves their favorite moon monkey, uh, uh, Pirate hat, of course, this reminds me of, again, Fallout 4, the general. Uh, flight helmet, uh, black sunglasses, uh, this, I wore this for the longest time on my main character, the star, uh, Stars and Stripes, I love it, it's a good thing, it's a cool thing, I mean. Uh, cowboy hat, Piper's cap, again, of course, Piper's goggles, even though Piper doesn't have goggles, at least not that I know of. Um, 2076, uh, glasses, uh, straw hat. Officer dress uh, hat, postal hat, tuxedo hat, conspiracy hat. That one's pretty cool. But there is already one that you can get in game or a variation of that I think is just as good. It's this, I wouldn't say one's better than the other. I guess it's just a matter of preference which one you like. If you want to save some money, obviously just go with the free in game one. But there's that. Uh, opossum uh, hat, this one's pretty cool. I like that it's kind of unique. Stalker bandana, another variation of a patriotic bandana. Uh, stalker goggles, Wasteland Amer uh, Amer Gamer. What am I talking about? Wastelander trapper hat, uh, Wastelander trapper mask, bear mascot, enthusiast hat, cultist headpiece, cultist hood, rootin' tootin' hat, stars and stripes hairband. General's hat, uh, survivalist bandana, survivalist hat, revolutionary helmet, the mechanist, of course, um, Captain Cosmo's helmet, Wastelander's eyepiece, Vault Girl's scribble head. This one's really, really cool and unique, I think. Um, Raider skull mask, Vault mascot head, Scabber mask, Vault Girl Martian head, Armored uh, Raider skull mask. Uh, Rusty Raider Skull Mask, uh, Gas Mask, uh, Mud Flap Hat, Back, Black Water Mud Flap Hat, some of these are tongue twisters almost, Traitor Hat, Raider Helmet, of course, that's the Fallout first thing, Pristine Mole, right, uh, Mole, Mo the Mole Head, it's getting hard to say these now, <laughs> Hunter Mud Flap, of course, in Multicam, which is a pretty cool design in my opinion, um, communist uh, spy hat, no thank you. Uh, samurai helmet, gladiator helmet, really unique. The, I still think these are really unique. And I hope Bethesda comes out with a lot more unique stuff like that because it, I really do enjoy those. Uh, eye patch, mechanic hat, this one's really cool. 3D glasses, Mothman glasses, again, those are really cool. These are alright, but they're unique and I appreciate them a lot. 
um, Enclave eye patch, um, eyeball eye patch. I wish they come up with eye patches for every faction that has ever came out in Fallout. That would be pretty cool. Uh, eye patch, uh, eyeball eye patch, free states eye patch, uh, pink heart eye patch, uh, raider eye patch, responders eye patch, well, uh, welder hat. Uh, basically all of these. I'm just gonna kind of go down uh, a little bit because. There's a lot of stuff around here. Again, the Leprechaun stuff, I like it a lot, man. They're really cool, really unique items. Of course, the previous um, uh, Fasna Parade event that went on, uh, we saw some Deathclaw masks and stuff like that and a bunch of all these other stuff that came out for that event. And I think they're really cool, in my opinion. Uh, Halo, Daredevil, uh, Devil Horns, those are pretty cool. Uh, robot helmet, of course. Uh, these berets remind me a lot of my time in the military. This one in particular reminds me of the Screaming Eagles in, of course, uh, the United States Army. So, there's that. And maroon is airborne stuff. And then green is normally special forces. So, there's that fun fact. The tactical op suit is actually a really cool under armor in my opinion, but I normally wear the stars ops for obvious reasons. Amerigamer, stars, got it, tracking, alrighty. Um, survivor's denim, and there's that for the, for the apparel. Now let's go to skins. This one is not as in depth, but there is quite a bit of stuff here. So I'm just gonna highlight some of the ones that I really, really like. Um, I like the Blood Raider skin. That one's really cool. Um, so, uh, of course, the four of the ones that, uh, the writers of the Apocalypse, if you will, that came out. The Plague Rider, Pale Rider, Black Rider. There's one more, but I don't remember which one is that. Those are really cool, in my opinion. Um, Ultrasight Prototype Paint. That's actually really cool. I just wish that one was in-game already, though. These, of course, uh, are the Inferno Paint Jobs, are Nuclear Winter, uh, Winter. So, there's that. Oh, here it goes. The War Rider. This one's probably the best one, in my opinion. But as far as Raider skins go, I do like this one a lot. The Bone Raider skin, I think it's really, really cool. Um, then, of course, you have your multi-cam. That one's really cool as well. But if I had to say my favorite, I will show you once I get to it. But there's all of these. These two Vault Boy hats are pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, so these are all just normal, whatever. But my favorite one, for obvious reasons... Is this one right here, the Patriot Prime Power Armor. I just don't like that when you get into it. It always says, like, stuff. You know what I mean? And although it's cool, I wish there was a toggle mode. There might already be one. I'm not sure. I'm not a Power Armor user, so there's that. But I do like that one a lot. It looks really, really cool. And, of course, there's still, like, your normal ones, like the blue, red, aqua, uh, of different variation of Power Suits, or Power Armor Suits. Um... So, these are cool. The Red Rocket is a newer one, but... Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't really like it. It looks weird. And then you see it in person, it just looks even weirder. So, I can't say that I enjoy that one a lot. But, hey, if you do, that's great, too. Then, of course, you have your... Uh, your skins for your Pip-Boy. So, these are pretty cool, in my opinion. There's only one, really, that I use this one for obvious reason it just matches the rest of my outfit on my main character but my uh youtube character is actually waiting uh wearing the scabber paint i believe which i mean it's just it might be the waster though what it's one of those raider-esque uh skins that i'm using on that one so there's that uh i did use this one the camouflage paint for the hunting rifle for a while because i am a sniper in my main character so there's that. The baseball bat, the waffle bat skin, I think, a uh, wiffle bat skin, I think is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I mean, there's nothing spectacular here. I do own everything pretty much. Uh, I, 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 if I'm missing something, I do want to know what I'm missing though. So if you guys know what I'm missing, definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, if you guys catch anything, but it'll be a tough one, I think. Uh, these are all pretty cool though. These gold paints and stuff for the revolvers I think are really really cool. I just wish the revolvers were a little bit better in the game, but I don't think so 
I don't think they're that great. I mean, um, of course, the 44 American Paint is pretty cool alongside with the single action and the Western Revolver. But I think the single action is not that good at all, actually. But there is that. Um, yeah, these are all pretty cool. Like this one right here, the the Bonnie uh, Tambo skin, I think it's pretty cool. The Grognak's Battle, uh, Battle Mace, really fantastic skin, I think. I just wish it was on a different weapon because... I believe, if I remember correctly, it's on the Super Sledge, and the Super Sledge makes noise, which doesn't really make sense for a uh, mace, but yeah, there's that. Then, of course, you have all of this. Your bows, of course. I like the bows a lot in the game, uh, but I still like the crossbow a little bit better for some reason, but there's that. Uh, of course, multicam. Uh, multicam is really cool because I did wear it in the military. This one... For some reason, the Patriot skin always reminds me of Captain America. Fun fact. <laughs> the Nuka Cherry paints on all these or whatever. I believe that was a Twitch Prime thing. The These right here are unlockable for uh, your character uh, through the seasons or whatever. I'm not all the way through it yet, so I'm still unlocking stuff for those. Of course, the 4th of July backpack. Hands down, my favorite. Because America. These are all really cool though. I do like a lot of these, to be honest. And this one right here, the uh, Explorer backpack, absolutely adorable. Like it a lot. Uh, right now, my main character is wearing the ghillie backpack, of course, because he is wearing a full suit of ghillie armor. Um, yep, that's, that's everything here. Let's go to camp stuff. We're going to be moving fast through these two because there's a lot. And nothing spectacular here, to be honest. I'm going to be moving a little bit fast. Um... This is Nuclear Winter stuff. I did unlock everything on Nuclear Winter if it's not already obvious. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really, really cool stuff in the Atomic Shop for like these two things right here. Of course, right? Why not? These letters, by the way, fantastic. Absolutely worth it in my opinion. Um, the Grognak Throne, really, really cool. These building sets, uh, I got them. They're great. I do use them. I'm not sure if they're worth it. Uh, these mystery items are really, really cool. Uh, how they made them work. That you have to like log in every once in a while. Uh, and get them. To be able to get them all. So, there's all this red rocket stuff, of course. The floors. Um, these things right here are pretty cool, in my opinion. The Nuka-Cola stairs are pretty fantastic, in my opinion. And of course, I said this in a video a long time ago that I wish we could build logs. Like there was a building set for log cabins and stuff. And we ended up getting this thing instead. Which is cool, I guess. But I just wish we had the ability to build a log cabin. That would be fantastic, in my opinion. So there's that. The, uh, the steady, or the seedy shed. Sure, why not? The train car looks nice. The, uh, red rocket door, I think it looks fantastic, I think. Um, the... Secret doors are really, really cool. Uh, again, Slocum's Joe vending machine. That's everybody's favorite. Uh, Mothman stuff. Uh, a lot of this stuff is just all right, in my opinion. The fancy bar, definitely worth it, in my opinion. Uh, I think it comes with this mirror, too, so there's that. Um, of course, the uh, nuclear winter stuff right here. Like I said, I did get all the way to level 100. So there's that. Uh, welcome, friends. Oh, and then the, of course, the uh, Easter eggs. If you got all of these or whatever, you unlocked a unique helmet, which is absolutely wonderful in my opinion. It's a Easter bunny hat, if you will. I just wish it came with an outfit as well. So there's that though. Of course, a bunch of Raider stuff, succulents. Um, I do use them periodically every once in a while in my camp builds, but there's that. This right here, the glow in the dark map, I actually really, really like this. It's really, really nice in my opinion. Of course, your Deathclaw mini statue in the modern fireplace, even though sometimes if you build, try to build it on a bottom floor, it'll just magically teleport to the top floor. So there's that. It's very weird, but it works, I suppose. If you can make it work, place it down first and then put a roof on it, uh, will just about always work. These are all just random stuff. Uh, I do use this one, the American flag, on my camp builds. And this one, of course, the wall banner on my main character. So there's that. Freedom neon signs. That's great. 
There's a lot of stuff that I have bought here in the game if it's not already obvious. A bunch of Raider stuff. These are really cool for like nostalgic Fallout fans. Um, can't say I've ever experienced them myself, but still cool that they added them in there for those OG players. Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff is really, really cool. This one, the Settler Camp and the Raider Camp that's up here, those are really cool for... Uh, or they, they came bundled in with the... Um, Raiders and Settler bundles from when Wastelanders came out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, contemporary bundle. These are pretty cool, man. I They're probably the building set that's worth it in the game. You can actually build an actual looking house. Silver Shroud, uh, Shroud Plushie. Amazing. These are all really cool stuff right here. Uh, nothing I would, you know, go crazy over. This fire pit is great, I think. And if you sit there, you uh, regain health, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe that's how it works. Um, curtains, great addition to the game, in my opinion. Uh, same thing with these trees and stuff like that. Great, and really, you can really flesh out your camp by putting some plants and stuff. Uh, I think, at least. Uh, definitely love the plushies, man. I really, really like the plushies. I should probably consider putting them down on my camp. Um, Scaver stuff, Raider Collectron, uh, Communist Collectron, no thank you, but I bought it anyways just because I'm somewhat of a completionist. Uh, Ammo Converter, sure why not. Uh, Fastnack Collectron, <laughs> that's, put, that's pretty funny. Uh, these came with the red rocket set I believe. The red enamel stove, I think it looks great. Uh, it's just a normal stove, you can cook on it and everything. The hot rod station looks absolutely fantastic. Of course, these Voltex stuff look great as well. Uh, these Corvega ones look fantastic, though. I really do enjoy the, those. Um, nothing spectacular here. You got some walls that you could have purchased uh, throughout the game, of course. And I think that's pretty much everything here. Yeah, there is. Styles, now we're getting into the smaller stuff, so there's that. These are just random hairstyles that you could purchase here in the game. Uh, I kind of wish there was like more options for tattoos and stuff. Because I think that would be pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, but that's pretty much everything here. There's nothing spectacular. Uh, photo mode. These are all just poses and frames. Uh, wave sparklers of course for 4th of July. Um, I really do like these because I do like taking pictures in the game. I have an ass load of freaking... Uh, you know pictures that I've taken and yeah these are all pretty cool some of these have pretty cool animations like the rock out or the confetti that you see up here they have pretty cool animations like the confetti it just does what it does with confetti so that's pretty cool um, Uncle Sam sure why not then you have all your photo frames the tricentennial of course came with the tricentennial pack right at the beginning of the game uh, the game's launch I should say some of these are uh, nuclear winter stuff. I like, but like, of course, uh, veteran frame, Vault 51. A lot of these are definitely nuclear winter stuff. But overall, nothing too spectacular in the photo mode sections. Uh, America photo mode, Americana photo mode frame. That one's pretty cool, I suppose. Only because I have a very strong bias towards that. I love the Minutemen, so this one was a really cool addition. I believe it's recent too, though. Uh, that's it for that. Emotes! I love the emotes. Tricentennial, I salute everyone as my form of saying hello. Because, of course. The camp, that one's really nice too. Uh, I believe that's one of the ones that just come with your game though. So, I think everybody has that one. Uh, these are all really cool. As you can see, I have them all equipped at all times essentially. So, there is that. Um... Overall, though, I don't really use many of these. I mean, the Funky Mothman and the Protectron Shuffle, I use those a lot just because they're funny. Um, the Heart, I probably use that a lot too. But overall, that's pretty much what I use. Nothing much. So there's a lot of these, so I'm going to move kind of fast uh, through these just so that you can see them. There's nothing spectacular about these. Um, they're just your player icons, of course. And there's that. There's nothing too special about these. 
they're just really cool. A lot of these are um, nuclear winter rewards too. So there's that. Uh, some of these are pretty cool, but for the most part, they're not anything spectacular. And I think they're only like 50, um, you know, atoms. So they're pretty cheap. Vault 94, of course, that's a pretty rare one, I think. To get, you have to basically uh, craft one of every, within a set, um, Vault 94 uh Armor, I forgot what they're called. The thorn and the other one. I can't remember what the other one's called. I normally use the thorn armor though. Um, yeah, nothing spectacular here. I like the flyboy for obvious reasons. Uh, I kind of wish there was a different version of that. Or just period, just an American one. That'd be pretty cool, but that's the closest that I have gotten. So there is that. That's the one that I use. And of course, I don't really buy these. I don't support them. Uh, in an absolute pinch, I do occasionally, but for the most part, 99.9% .9 of the time, I almost always have what I need to fix my weapons and armor, so it's definitely not necessary. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys uh, think about all of what you saw here in this video, and let me know down in the comments what your preferred uh, setups from the Atomic Shop is down in the comments. Like, What have you bought that you really, really enjoyed? I would really like to know that. Uh, just so that I know I'm not alone in purchasing some stuff in the Atomic Shop, of course. I know there's a lot of people that buy stuff, but I definitely want to know what you have purchased for yourself. So there's that. If you enjoyed this video, though, do me a huge, huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, I'll most definitely, definitely, definitely catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.